Well, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Angela Eats TV. And today, I am going to be making a recipe that I'm doing for a challenge video with Nene Eats Cajuning Seasoning Sauce. So right here, I am cutting up my bell peppers and my onions and I have um, some butter melting on the stove. Let me just finish cutting this up really quickly. I wanna thank everybody for joining me on today for this little cooking segment. And this is going to be, let me go ahead and just tell you right now, might as well. This is for the um, shrimping ain't easy uh, challenge by Debo Vibes and, and um, Tag for short. So I am preparing my meal and I figured this was the perfect, perfect, excuse me, perfect opportunity to um, do this, uh, try out Nini's uh, butter sauce. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna put these in the pan and get them to saute and bring it to the stove and show you my salt my peppers and my onions. Now I'm getting ready to add my neat, my uh, Nini Eats uh, Cajun seasoning. Y'all better get you some. And I ain't even tasted it and I already know it's good. Okay? Already know. Okay, we are back. The veggies is nice and sauteed. And um, they're still going to get a little bit softer because I am going to now, excuse me, add my shrimp. And I have jumbo shrimp here. And this is for the Shrimpin' Ain't Easy Challenge by Debo Vibes and Tag for short. I'm going to finish putting this all together for you. And then we are going to get into the video. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Angela Eats TV. Hashtag Picky Palettes. Note to self, don't hurt yourself. Welcome back, everybody. I want to thank you for joining me. And today we are doing a challenge. And it's called the Shrimpin' Ain't Easy Challenge. Created by Debo Vibes and Tag for short. Let's go ahead and say grace so we can get to grubbing. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive. I ask that you look upon the land and bless those that do not have. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen to you. Amen, everybody. Yes. The shrimping ain't easy challenge. I've been seeing this go around. I'm not sure if I was challenged or not. I just knew that I wanted to do it. And on top of that is the way that I prepared it. And the rules are that you got to have at least 10 shrimp and um, you have to add something along with it. So what I added along with it is my cucumber right here. I'm going to show you an overview, but um, my cucumber right here. And then um, I sauteed me some shrimp with some red, yellow and green and onions and bell pepper. And then this is my first time I am trying out Nini's Eats Life Cajun Seasoning, and I thought that this was the perfect occasion to do both. Yes! Okay, and then on my cucumber, I have um, some tahini with it, and then if it's not enough heat, I have some Texas peat, and then I have some water over here in the cut. Pause on that note. If you don't have a snack, Go get you a snack and come right on back. Okay? Okay. Yes. So, shrimping ain't 
stripping ain't easy. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a give it a go. I wouldn't taste while I was cooking because I wanted to be able to eat my shrimp. Okay. Let me get you some rice, some peppers, and everything. There you go. Nice piece of shrimp, a little bit of rice. Mm. Mm hmm I'll be right back. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Y'all see that? Mm. Cheers to everyone. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. This right here is truth. Y'all got to get you some of this. And she got a Black History Month sale going on. Get there. You would want to have some of that. I didn't use no other seasoning in my vegetables. I showed you guys a clip. And I didn't use no no other seasoning but that Nene's Cajun seasoning. But it is really good. It's oh so good. But this is the stripping ain't easy. Let me girl stop. Let me tell you about my about my guy Debo Vibes. After this bite, mm, mm, mm. mm. Digo Vibes is a great content creator. He's really, really funny. Um, he has these wonderful stories, like from the 90s, you know, uh, different movies and um, different story times about this movie, about the movies and his takes on them. You know, like, hmm, I never thought about it that way. That's who we, that's who Debo Vibes is. And um, he does mukbangs, he does challenges, and um, visitors that come in, you know, like different chefs or, you know, uh, different entrepreneurs. Debo Vibe has them in front of the camera. And if you are not familiar with Debo Vibes, I'm definitely going to put his um, link in the description below and you definitely want to go uh check them out because you will get lots and lots and lots and lots of laughs mm. 
Mmm. 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 I gotta just tahini on my cucumbers. I love this tahini on my cu on my fruit and on my raw vegetables. So good. Now, um, tag for short. I am new to tag for short, but I have been to her channel on more than a couple of occasions trying to get a feel for who she who she is as a creator. Very talented young lady. Can sing her butt off, okay? But she also do mukbangs. Um, she's, uh, she vlogs. She's on there singing. I'm looking forward to getting to know her better. For sure. But her link also, excuse me, will be in the description box below. But shrimping ain't easy. I do know that I gotta tag three people. And woo! Look at there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I have seen a few people do this, more than a few. They popping up like popcorn and no, I don't need no Texas Pete because it lies within the season, but it's, it's, it's mellow, but present. Mmm, that is so good. And don't have to use nothing, no salt, no nothing. But how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers. OMG, thank you so much for coming over and joining Team Picky Palettes. I truly, truly do appreciate you. Like I say, I over here, I do mostly restaurant reviews. I do some cooking videos, some mukbangs since, you know, what's going on in, um, over here. I've been doing a lot more of them. But I do vlogs, I do traveling vlogs, and I am a major supporter to everyone, in my opinion, of course. Shout out to Mahogany's Palace. This is one of the hand-sewn wigs that um, she customized for me. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm going to also put her link in the description box below. So, you know, she does more than just hair. You know, oh, I left my mirror over there. But hand beaded um, personalized mirrors and and um, uh, shoes. Uh, what is, well, this wall art thing. What does she call them? Uh, that's okay. But, yeah, anyway, so... But yeah, these are these are some of the youth, um, the content creators that have businesses that I um, do support, as well as I support their channels along with everyone else's. But enough about that. Shout out to Debo Vibes and Tag, uh, Tag for short for creating a challenge that me personally can do. Mm, 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 mm. I'm counting my shrimp. <laughs> mm. 
but you have to eat here. You can eat more if you want to, but a minimum of 10. But I had a half, I had a, a, a dozen in here because I just, I needed to use the whole pack. I was um I was watching the news this morning guys and um y'all know Dolly Parton has a a theme park, Dolly Land or something like that. You wanna talk about Employee retention, holding on to everybody that she got. If it doesn't matter if you're a high school student going into college or if you're a college student just working there trying to make ends meet, or you know, or you're you know up in age and, and just working there part time, need something to do, and you want to go back to school. Darlie Parton is paying full tuition for anybody that's in school or want to go back to school, plus all their books and supplies, as long as they're walk working at Dolly Land. Talk about employee retention, okay? Ain't nobody walking out to leave her. Would you? Mm-mm. 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 I got another one for you. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And bell peppers and onion. Mm. 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 This is really good. Now, excuse me. Everybody know that I used to be a truck driver. I've been retired, what, going on six years now. And when you do truck driving long haul, especially when you're crossing borders, like Mexico and in Canada, you know what I mean? And different countries have different laws when it comes to what their um, mandate is. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. And when our wheels are not rolling, we are not making no money. And Canada, <clears throat> has made it, <coughs> excuse me, so difficult for my fellow truckers to where they was like, if we ain't making no money, ain't nobody making no money. The ones that, uh, that the ones that has already crossed over into Canada, they are uh, protesting with their rigs. Have you guys seen that? 
excuse me. Have you guys seen that? The, um, to like where all the businesses and stuff um, are in, that's in, I think it's Ottawa, Canada, where all the businesses are. I mean, and the trucks are just in the middle of the street, just parked all on the, on the side and right through the middle of the street. It's just like they, they uh, made a barricade and they did the same thing at the Canadian bo uh, the Canadian border. Can't nobody get in and can't nobody get out. They're right there at that bridge. When you come down, I, well, if you ever been to Canada, but when you come down off that bridge and you're um, at the border of Canada, you can see that big old bridge right behind you. There is, there's, there is rigs lined up side by side to where they take up the whole width of the street and for miles behind it and they're and they're blocking the can uh, the Canadian border. I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. Because, you know, like I, you, they can't make no money. If they trucks ain't if they trucks them wheels ain't moving, they not spinning, you're not making no money. We get paid by the mile, not the hour. You got your receivers over there waiting on that stuff. And the receivers that is, that's over there waiting on that stuff, they got to distribute that throughout Canada. Whose shelves gonna be empty now? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But let me get to, let me see. Oh, wait a minute too. On top of that, we, there is a caravan of truckers that is supposed to be on their way to DC to, to protest with their rigs in the same way. Okay, there we go. Now moving on. So who am I challenging? On the shrimping ain't easy challenge. I am t um, challenging CC. I'm just me. Um, Chef Andre. I just learned of Chef Andre very recently. And I went over there and took a look at that young man's challenge had, channel, excuse me, had me screaming screaming you guys are going to love him and then i am also challenging my sammy boo sam's world okay so cc i'm just just me chef andre in sam's world that is who i am challenging um i had a dozen there's one and two So I gotta eat one more. Ooh. That's my can. Shrimp in it ain't easy. Mmm. This was a fun challenge. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to everybody that did the challenge and supported Devo Vibes and tag the short. Shout out to everybody that's going to do the challenge in support. I'm sure they appreciate you. Um, yeah, so everybody get in on this. Get it out there. Share their channels. And shout out to um, Nitty Eats Lice with her new Cajun seasonings. Um, Cajun seasoning. You guys got to get this. This is good. This is a one-hitter quitter right there. 
I can't wait to try it on some chicken when I'm in the mood for it. But I am not going to hold you guys. <clears throat> I am going to get out of here. And on that note, you know what time it is. Yes, you know what time it is. And if you're happy and you know it, what do you know about that? Hmm. And as the saying goes, you can like me, you can hate me, you can love me, you can totally ignore me. But whatever you do, you introduce me to somebody. But before all that, you do you. Because I'm damn sure doing me. Peace, love, and blessings to each and every last one of you. Again, I want to thank you for being here. I appreciate your love and your support. Again, welcome to all my new subscribers, to all my VIPs, my day ones. Thank you again. You know I love and I appreciate you. But until the next time, deuces.